Hey, welcome back to Aaron Reacts, and this is reaction number 99 of Angelina Jordan. That's super pivotal because the next one, by the time you have seen this, I've already seen, and many of you have already seen Angelina Jordan live at the Glendale concert, and many of you participated in the 100th reaction with me when this is released. We're doing it live on Friday in Glendale. Um, and there's some details on it in the description of my uh, YouTube, but it's probably too late at this point, realistically. Um, and I hope uh, many of you that you know were able to participate knew about it and were able to join. But I'm going to be la reacting live with a bunch of angels. Um, my guess is 30 to 50, um, it sounds like. So that'll be really fun. And I'm going to be reacting live with them to the Old Enough EP of Angelina Jordan, the entire album. So that's going to be really cool. And that's kind of my thank you um 100th um angelina jordan reaction which will be in a, almost exactly five months to the day when i started this journey so that's really neat now i think it's really fitting also that i'm reacting now without even realizing that this was requested and next in my queue to million miles now i did the official video and if you have not seen that i'll go ahead and link that here you want to check that out because that was very emotional for me and it just occurred to me i hope i don't get emotional here um but you know that was extremely emotional and the reason i say that's fitting is i actually wanted to do something special tied to million miles but i'm gonna wait to share that with you you're gonna have to stick around to the end for that one because i think you're you're gonna like what you hear with that and i'll i'll i'll, I'll give you a little bit of a sneak peek of what i've been working on i wanted to make it happen live for uh for the concert but i don't think uh why well, at this point it's too late i couldn't i'm too busy um, but, but soon enough it will. And, and so you'll see that, um, and I'll, I'll give you a little bit of a sneak preview, but without further ado, this is Angelina Jordan live at Kongsberg, uh, in 2022. This is a uh, million miles. This is hybrid version with an key TV, TV and fan food footage. Um, and so it looks like this is uh Chris Walker, I believe the, just the Hawaii walkers, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and so, uh, definitely looking forward to it. Let's dive right in. Okay, so next song is Fly Me to the Moon. Wait, what? Oh, um, okay, my bad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're going to do a million I... miles. Um, in, um... Okay, I... She said my bad, so she, so it wasn't intentional. I don't think I've ever seen her miss up. Granted, I've not watched a lot of her sequential um, songs like this, but, you know, she's such a pro. I think that that's, that's extremely rare, so... Um, I don't think she was messing with us, but either way, here we go. Some of you might know, it's my um, original song, and um, it's a very special song to me. And I hope, in, you know, the, the meaning of this song is about whoever, the loved one that you, you know, you lose, is always going to be there for you. And no matter where you are, they're, they're, you know, they're watching you and they're, they're with you. So you're, you're never alone. Um, and yeah, that's the message I wanted to give.
Wow. So I feel like slower just gives it so much more emotion. And I don't think there was additional emphasis or rhythmic change to it. But it almost feels like it swings a little bit more at that slower tempo. Um, how in the world... So I think at the beginning I saw a little bit of a... Um, slightly teary eyes in her. Um, and that got me more emotional. But how she's able to sing that without tearing up is beyond me. I mean, what what a professional. Because that has to mean so much to her. Right? And uh, I don't think it's weakness for her to get emotional sometimes. Right? I mean, obviously she's going to be herself. And, you know, she probably, you know, is able to stay composed and, and that's fine. But it would be, I think, really cool to actually see her just break down. Right? Like, I mean, some of you have told me that, you know, it's it's those moments with me that you feel like you get the connection, right? Uh, how special would it be to, to see Angelina do that? Now, she may have. I still have barely scratch the surface of what she's done in terms of my reactions, right? I still have so much more to learn and so much more Germany to go on, um, but I haven't seen it. And so I think that would be cool. So, all right, let me tell you what I'm, I'm working on. So I really wanted to do something for the concert. And I had this idea to, um, obvious, uh, to, to involve the fans, right? So like we, uh, I saw, um, Lara Fabian's fans actually um, sing the song uh, to her and they had pre-arranged it and I wanted to do kind of something like that and I started thinking about what would be worth doing that and I said well to me it, it, it feels like it has to be an original 
but I had not yet reacted to a lot of originals. And so there were very few for me to choose from and Million Miles immediately struck me. And I thought, well, what can I do with Million Miles? Do I change it up, make it more of like a jazzy arrangement that maybe, you know, she'd appreciate? Do I, you know, kind of change it where maybe I move things around, like similar to what she did, um, you know, with, um, un no, not Unchained Melody, Suspicious Minds? Um, do I um, change the lyrics? And how do I do that? And, and I was gearing up to try to put something together for the concert. And I started working on the tune a little bit. I actually transcribed the melody and the chords and so forth um, and had a pretty good start in that. And then um, I, I started working on the um, lyrics and I actually rewrote the lyrics from a fan tribute perspective. In other words, we as fans would sing it to her and it really changes the meaning of this. And so I'd like to at least give you a little bit of a sneak preview. Now, um, I couldn't make it in time, so we can't sing as fans. But what I want to do is actually do a video. And I know some of these types of things have been done before um, where I have someone actually maybe play um, the piano live. Maybe we get a few instruments in there, but I would probably keep it quite small and have a professional singer. Um, I did get a couple of recommendations from folks. Um, one I know is going to be at the concert. Um and have them sing it. So, um, but I'm, I'm going to share a little version of, of, of uh, just to give you an idea of it. And, you know, please, please, please bear in mind, I admit fully, I'm not a vocalist, I can't sing. Um, so, you know, but I want you to kind of hear the, the, the lyrics and the gist of it. So uh, I'm going to pause here and, and kind of cue that up. All right, so this is going to be the first time I think I've ever tried to record myself singing. So this is going to be very bad, and my apologies, but I think you'll get the gist of it. And um, here, here's the idea, right? And so this song is all about her, you know, not being alone because, you know, her grandfather's watching over her, with her, and so forth, right? My version of this song is that she's not alone because we're here with her, and she's helped us out, right? There's, there's, there's both sides. We, her singing has gotten us through tough times, but also we're here for her. We've got her back. So that's the gist, and you can, you know, see that shift in the lyrics, and that's the idea. When you were a child, you walked the streets. We watched you growing up, knew you were all we'd need. We see you in ourselves. Through all these years, your strength calms our deepest fears. We think what you've given us, the smiles and the memories. But now we're here to hold your hand. In the light of your bright smile, you're not alone, we find. We'll never forget what you do. When the distance feels so far, we're right here where you are. Through every hardship you face Together we find a place And together we're strong No, you're not ever alone No, you're not ever alone No, you're not ever alone Ever alone Never alone Guiding us from your heart, your spirit shines like a bright star. Your presence it shines so bright, guiding us through every night. We treasure every song you sung, the joy and love you spread, and now we stand here holding your hand in the light of your bright smile. Never forget what you do When the distance feels so far We're right here where you are Through every hardship you face Together we find a place And together we're strong No, you're not ever alone No, you're not ever alone Close our eyes tonight, we dream of you shining 
shining bright We wonder if, we wonder if All your friends among the stars The song's for you wherever you are Then feel so far We're right here when you are Through every heart you hold your face Together we find a place no, you're not ever alone. Oh, you're not ever alone. So I missed the line there at the end, and uh, you know, rhythmically I messed up several things. Um, it was obviously not a perfect performance, but you get the gist. Um, and some of the lyrics I think still need a little bit more work. I think there's there's more that could be done. Uh, tighten it up a little bit, make them fit with her phrasing a little bit more, and that threw me off and so forth. But I'm curious, what do you think? I feel like this is this is quite powerful to show kind of our um, you know what she means to us, but also it's 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 reciprocal, right? That we've also got her back. So that was the gist here. So let me know what you think, and uh, we'll wrap this one up. Um, again, thank you much. If you haven't yet subscribed, please go ahead and do so now. Um, if you're an angel, um, you know, please consider joining the aarunreacts.com membership, and uh, we will see you in the next one, which will be 100 that I'll be doing with many of you angels. So definitely looking forward to it. Thank you.